Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. It's Saturday. Um, I'm trying to get myself ready to be able to do some things today. And uh, last night I had planned on doing some things and I just came home and pretty much passed out on the couch. I was not feeling well. So, you know, it was just one of those nights. <laughs> But today, before I get to our actual devotion, there's an, there's another little scripture in here before you get to the devotion for the day, and it's from Proverbs. And it says, Do not let your hearts envy sinners. Be always zealous for the fear of the Lord. There is surely a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. And that's Proverbs 23, 17, and 18. I just thought that was so, I don't know, I have a prayer for the day, you know, um, I was thinking, we all think this, we know, you know, how, you know, these people just don't even love God, they don't do this, they don't do that, and they seem to have so much stuff, and yet I'm trying so hard over here to, you know, to follow the Lord, and, and, and I'm struggling over and over and over again, you know, and it's hard not to be jealous or envy or something, but you know what, their hope is going to be cut off if they don't know the Lord. And our hope will never be cut off. So that's my mini devotion before the devotion. <laughs> but it's also talking about putting me first. And not me like as in me, but God. So let's see what Jesus says this morning. So in everything you do, put me first. And I will direct you, you and your crown, your crown and crown your efforts with success. Putting me first sounds so simple and straightforward, but the world, the flesh, and the devil were against your efforts to do this. You can easily justify letting other things creep into the space and time you have set apart for me. If this happens only occasionally, it's just part of being human. However, if you see it becoming a pattern in your life, watch out. Your priorities may have been gradually shifting until I am no longer your first love. Putting me first is not an arbitrary rule. It is the way to live vibrantly and joyfully close to me. It is also the way to live purposefully, letting me direct your steps. When I am your top priority, other things fall into their proper place. So delight yourself in me first and foremost as you walk in the light of my presence. I open the path before you and give you the desires of your heart. Wow. I don't know about you guys, but kind of stepped on my toes this morning as, as a former, my, my, my little grandmother who's been gone for a long time now, but um, she grew up in, you know, this old Southern Baptist church, and she'd always say, ooh, preacher, you stepped on my toes this morning. Well, ooh, Lord, you stepped on my toes this morning. Because sometimes, you know, I'm getting ready in the morning to do our daily devotion and stuff, and yeah, I want to try to get, you know, clothes on first and stuff like that, but I mean, sometimes things just creep in the way um, of me doing this. And sometimes it can't be helped, but sometimes it can be helped. And I had to remind myself of that this morning, that you need to put the Lord first. And it seems like when I do get things in the right priority every single day, my life runs a whole lot smoother. Now, it's not going to run perfect because that's just the way the world is. It's not going to be perfect. But it does run a whole lot smoother. So let me give you the scripture for this devotion. So the first one is from Proverbs 3, 6, and it says, In everything you do, put God first, and he will direct you and crown your efforts with success. And then Revelation 2, 4, Nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. We have to be mighty careful not to lose our first love, and that should be God. Psalms 37, 4 says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Man, I cling up to that verse. Because <laughs> I've been asking him for the desire of my heart for quite a while now. And you know what? When he gets ready to give it to me, he will. And it's just no, no other way to do that. 
And then 1 John 1, 7 says, If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us all from sin. Yes, we must stay in the light. We must follow God's lead. Follow him. Stay true. You know, um, put him first. And our lives will be so much better. All right, my friends, I hope you're having a beautiful, blessed weekend this weekend. I will be back in just a few minutes. I was going to draw a winner for my little giveaway from the Dollar Tree haul I did a couple weeks ago. And it was supposed to come out with my keto living yesterday. And like I said, I just, um, yeah, I didn't feel well and I didn't get it done. So I'll be back with that in just a few minutes. And I'll see you all again tomorrow morning for another daily devotion. God bless. Love you all. Bye.